my family tends to have some weird traditions when it comes to family road trips. Since I was moved out, I would have to drive myself to my parents' house and meet up with them there. I gathered everything I needed in my apartment and packed it all in my car. I wanted to get to my parents' place early in the morning, so I left my apartment around 5 a.m. The drive was about 35 to 40 minutes, but it felt like an hour. The trip altogether was going to be around 8 hours. On my way there, the road I would normally take was closed off because of an accident that happened a couple hours before I left. The road was thin and jagged and hard to navigate. It was frustrating, but at least it was getting me to where I needed to go. A couple minutes into driving, something weird happened. The road I was taking ended up being a dead end. I was really confused and now angry because how was I supposed to get to my parents' place now? I tried turning the car around, but I didn't realize the ground was muddy alongside the road. The back tires got stuck in the mud and my car wasn't budging. When this happened, I pulled on my phone to call my dad. <sighs> Great. No service. I then cursed under my breath thinking how stupid this situation was. Soon after, I heard something come from one of the trees beside the car. It sounded like leaves crunching. Since I was in the middle of the woods, I brushed it off thinking it was a deer or something. I looked out the window and I saw a man. A person? I didn't even know what it was. All I could say is that it looked like a man crawling around on his hands and knees. This thing was crawling over to my car with this intense smile on its face. It stopped about three feet away from my car. It just stared at me. Then what happened next will begin to haunt me for the rest of my life. The most horrifying shriek came out of its mouth. Scared to death, I put the car in reverse and stepped on the pedal with as much force as possible. My car somehow came loose and I started driving back the way I came. I looked at my rear view mirror and I didn't see that thing anywhere. I made it back to the main road and I saw that the crash was cleaned up. I drove on that road and had no issues making my way to my parents, but to this day, that was the most horrifying experience that I've ever encountered. When I turned 18, my parents finally let me go on a small road trip with my girlfriend. We were really excited because we have been planning this trip for quite some time now. We gathered our things that we had picked out along with some money that we saved up just for this occasion. At the end of the trip, we were going to meet up with one of my friends that had just moved out of state not that long ago. We were planning on staying there for about 4 days before we went back home. We soon got in the car at around 11.30pm and started our journey of no sleep and sitting in an uncomfortable seat for about 12 hours. About 2 hours in our drive, my girlfriend had to go pee. Since we were basically out in the middle of nowhere, we would have to go pee in the woods. We stopped the car in a patch of grass and made our way over to the closest tree. To give her some privacy, I walked a couple trees away but still keeping track of where she was to make sure she was okay. I stopped at a tree and decided to use the restroom myself. A couple seconds later, I heard footsteps in the grass with the occasional snapping of a twig. I brushed it off, thinking it was my girlfriend walking back to the car. As soon as I was walking back to the tree my girlfriend was at, I heard a scream with a loud thud right after. I ran as fast as I could over to where I heard the scream. My girlfriend must have heard me because she was screaming my name and running towards me. She grabbed my arms and said we needed to get out of there as fast as possible. We sprinted to where the car was and got in as fast as we could. Before I could even ask what happened, there was a scary looking man outside the car screaming with a large metal baseball bat in hand. I started the car and I soon heard the sound of shattering glass. I was scared to death. I stepped on the gas and got out of there as fast as the car could take us. I looked back and I could see five other men were chasing us on foot. They obviously didn't catch up, but it was scary knowing there were more men that could have harmed us. We didn't know what they wanted, but we were glad that we got out of there alive. 